Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartman from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to customize my Glow Particles logo reveal After Effects template. If you already purchased this template through VideoHive then thank you very much for your support. I hope that you like the template and that you create some really cool stuff with it. So before we start with the customization let me quickly explain the content of this template. If you open up the project folder then you see we have actually two different After Effects projects included. The first one is called no plugins or has this edition here that's called no plugins and this of course tells us that this version doesn't need any plugins all the stuff that was created with plugins is pre-rendered and then we have the original file and this requires some plugins and that's why it's called plugins and to use this file you need trap code particular and you also need video copilot's optical flares. If you choose to use this version then please make sure that these plugins are installed on your system. If you do not have the plugins no problem you can use this template but just open up the no plugins version. So let's move to After Effects and let's open up a project. In my case I will use the no plugins version so I will open this up and After Effects tells us that this project must be converted from version 10 so no worries this is no mistake or error it just means that this template was created with an older version of After Effects actually it was created with After Effects CS5 and now I'm using After Effects CC to do this customization so let's click OK and then After Effects will import and open up the project. The customization process is very easy and very fast. First of all you can import your logo or you can also of course write in your text. So to import your logo just move to the logo composition in your timeline. If it's not already open you can find it in your project window and you can simply double click here to open it up. If you want to use a title then you can of course use this text layer which is already here. You could just double click it and then you could enter your title. You can of course also import your logo. To do that you go to file and then you choose file import file so in this case I will import my logo and now I will drag my logo inside my logo composition and place it above my placeholder here let's make a little bit more room here like so what I want to do now is I want to scale down my logo because it's way too big so I select my logo layer press S on the keyboard and then just scale it down so that it covers approximately my placeholder about 40% okay now we'll move it up a bit like so and then I will disable my placeholder and now you can move on to the render composition and check out the result so you see now my logo is visible right here the next option that you have is you can change the look of these particles Therefore you can select the color setup layer and make sure that your effect controls panel is open. You see we have a bunch of color controls here. First of all you can change the background colors. On the background there is a gradient ramp so if you come here and change this for example to something like a little bit with the bluish tint here. Like so. And then let's take over this color for background color 2 and just come in here and make it darker like so now we have a nice gradient and then we have three controls for the particle colors you see that we have particle highlights particle midtones and particle shadows so if you choose different colors then make sure that you put in the brighter colors on the highlights and then the midtones and the darker color on the shadows so in my case I just want to change the colors a bit maybe I want to take over a color of my logo so I select this eyedropper here and select this bright yellow here then maybe I want to use a blue for the midtones so let's get this blue here and then I want to use one of these dark colors here make this a little bit brighter like so and this doesn't look too bad the next option that I've got is to change the flare color and if I move forward a little bit here you see the flare is visible right here so if I change the flare color now to something like maybe a little bit of a warm color like so. So the next option is to change the flare saturation. If you set this saturation to 100 then 
the flare will be just black and white, only a white flare, so the saturation will be gone. And if you set this to zero, then you have full saturation. The standard value here is 25. So depending on what look you are searching, change the saturation value. So this is it for our color controls. The next option that we have is to enter a subtitle here. To enter the subtitle, make sure that your time indicator is behind this marker here, because otherwise the subtitle is not visible. To edit the subtitle, simply double click the layer, then you can enter your title. Now you can of course change the font or you can also change the size of the text. And then switching back to our selection tool, I can simply position this Okay, so this is it for the customization. If you want to add an audio track, you can come to the audio composition and you see there is already a little sound effect included. So the sound effect is actually a little swoosh and then this uh, cr crinkly noises when the particles hit the ground. And just drag in your audio track right into the audio composition. You can of course also just put it into your render composition. So to import your audio file, you just go to file and then again, choose import, navigate to your audio, select it and drag it into your composition, either into the audio composition or into the render composition. So this is it for this customization tutorial. You see that the customization of this template is really easy and it also renders very fast. I hope that you like this template, that you create some really nice intros with it. If you have any questions, then feel free to contact me through my video hive profile or through my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.